How's it going everyone? Jupita here with another Let's Play episode. So I did, well basically, <laughs> I uh, finally got my surface gatherer to come home and yeah, drop off the seeds and he even went and got some clay for me. So yeah, I think we'll actually like set up uh, at least some rudimentary kind of farms. I'm mostly interested in these waxy earthiums just so we can make some wax. Uh, both for crafting, maybe stick some in the chrysominter, put some up on a shop stand, see if it sells. I don't know, this stuff is pretty easy to get your hands on, so it may not sell. But uh, really all you have to do is beat the mint price, so it's not like we'd have to sell it for a whole lot. Uh, but then also get maybe some wheat and oats set up just so like the oats are good for making milk uh, The wheat is for making flour and then yeah, we might even be able to kind of eventually craft some of our own pies for uh, food buffs, so But uh, yeah, let's go ahead. I guess get started. I figured I'd like I guess set these up down here and so I pulled out like Theoretically, this cold color should be the brightest color of Gleam, um, or at least in that brightest category. Uh, naturally, uh, Refined Gleam would be a bit better choice, so we can throw some of the refinery for later, but for now, we'll just go ahead and use the, the regular uh, Gleam, because that's what we have. And it looks like my rudimentary crafting spec is already... Um, Selected. I guess here we go. This one's at least fully repaired. And oh yeah, let's see you're able to craft. So yeah, this is the the new update. Uh, Was it released 227? So now we have filters here. We can also do a, a search blank. And apparently, I think I need decorative crafting or something. So we can maybe flesh out this skills the skill page just a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Augment Forge Brewing. Where'd the machine crafting? There he goes. Decoration. Let's see here. That will give us... Doesn't say anything about Gleam there. Next rank. Decorative Gleam. Or that's Gym Blocks. Uh, there we go. Refined Gleam. So, unlocked recipe. So, theoretically... That should uh, give it to us, so we can go to able to craft. No, so let's try out the new. Okay, so maybe it's the next rank we'll be able to do that stuff. And there we go. There it is. Let's do. I don't think we really need much more than, say, 150. So we can do that for now. Okay, good. So <laughs> that always throws me a little bit because you see the world um, natural color, but then you can come over here and see which color you actually ended up using. So, okay, so we got some better gleam on the way. Uh, lanterns would be even better, but then that requires glowing lamella, and I at least don't want to use that just yet. Um, probably have just a small amount. So I guess we can go ahead and maybe get these set up. I was kind of thinking maybe we could just set these up sustainable, so like we're not necessarily trying to make seeds, but it seems kind of silly not to since they are uh, quite valuable, so that'll... So we already had the dark glass there, that'll help make it happy. Here we can put... We kind of need our, our loot stick out for the light. I guess we don't need to till for the time being, but we need... Here we go, peaty soil, we got the dark glass. Uh, oh yeah, we'll have to grab some water at some point. Uh, and last episode we forged the liquid breakers, so... But uh, I guess let's place down some PD soil. And this looks like as good a place as any. 
<laughs> okay, so I'll probably do this on my own time, and yeah, we can go ahead and set up like what we want. It's max dexterity, so we'll need the attribute bonus. Uh, we don't need vitality, don't really need power for farming at least. Agility, I don't know, four points I usually take. Uh, we don't exactly need luck. We're not going to be gathering anything out in the wild. Uh, zeal? That's probably good just to maximize uh, any food buffs we end up taking. And... Yeah, I could probably stuff like a crafting spec in on top of the farming, but... Uh, oh, nice. Okay, so we already have volume in the chisel epic so that's going to come in handy for both crafting and the farming i already have the farming epic naturally i guess we can oh we already have max crop sower uh, efficient crafting sure why not don't necessarily need the tax epic on this character gathering epic jump that the jump distance that's probably a good one to get so we don't really need damage, so... Uh, we can go ahead and max out decoration. Uh, I guess we could specialize this character in both farming and food, maybe? That kind of makes sense. Yeah, we can hold off on brew for now. Uh, augment crafting? Meh, okay. Grapple Mastery. Control is nice to have, so we can go ahead and get that. And that's probably good for the time being. We could do a little bit of kinetic armor, but I mean, we're on a peaceful planet, so nothing's going to bother us at the moment. So let's go ahead and do the jump distance. That's pretty handy. Uh, energy regeneration. That is tempting. Guess we can go ahead and do that. Why not? Okay, that's good enough. We still have points to play with if we want to take more crafting stuff or figure out like, oh, we forgot something. We don't really need any masteries. So that will do us for now. It's gonna make me hungry. <laughs> so dark. Nice, got a... Some sort of achievement for that. Okay, so I'll place down some PD soil, and I guess we'll be back after that. Okay, so got this kind of rudimentary uh, exotic earth yam farm set up. Set up. <laughs> I went ahead and recorded. I might make for an interesting time lapse. I really don't know. Just have to kind of wait and see. But uh, I guess you all probably already know the answer to that question. But uh, since I am just using the basic gleam, uh, 
I really don't know if this is spaced correctly for lighting. I think I just copied what I did on my uh, main account. So we got time to maturity, nine hours. So yeah, looks like that'll work. So it's basically every six blocks and then jump over um, the other side. So if you're using something better than just regular gleam, I guess you could space it out even more than that. But then uh, as you can kind of see, like there's some shadows there. So it's kind of like you go off of the crop or what, you know, the aesthetics, I guess, you know, or the looks. So, and hopefully, I kind of figure this is going to be more than enough space given the number of seeds that I have. Uh, looks like I'm going to end up using all of them, so. But, uh, of course, once I add some water to this setup, it will eventually make more seeds. Uh, so you can only get it like, uh, a 10% chance to get an extra seed, but uh, let's go grab some water and we can basically finish it off. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, so they should be still hanging out. Yeah, liquid breaker. So uh, they are going to be single target, but yeah, it'll get the job done. We tried for an AOE, but we didn't quite have all the fancy Ford stuff. So uh, yeah, it just didn't work out. It was actually looking good there for a moment, but then we ended up like RNG just uh, had its way with us. But um, here, I guess make sure. Okay, so there's nothing. I actually like this a lot better. Nothing like a, a picture, I guess. <laughs> You're basically a mini map, so we can just, uh, yeah, out here that's not beacon, just start digging this stuff up. Pretty straightforward. And let's see, we don't exactly need a whole lot of this. It's what, it's like, I don't know, I guess a hundred or so blocks of water, but then we're going to be setting up those other crops, so. Um, so, yeah. I guess if we could just go ahead and break the whole entire shovel, because that'll give us greater than, you know, a smart stack of water, but... That's going to take a little while. But, uh, you know, we're already up to, what, 60, 70 blocks so far. Oh, that is a good question. Did we get the durability? Okay, very nice. <laughs> like, I pretty much take that on really any character, but every once in a while I'll realize it's like, oh, this spec hasn't picked that up just yet because, you know, when I originally set it up, I wasn't anticipating really using durability um, just a whole lot, so... Doesn't happen too often, but I have done it a couple of times. Okay, so we're up to 160 water. Probably enough to at least get the exotic earth yams watered and maybe a little bit more. Uh, we do have, what, 300... Um, whatchamajiggers? Uh, waxy earthian balls bulbs <laughs> and um, that would be what we need 200 water you know 100 water for each side where is that is that right you want to plant all of it and it's you know yeah you know I'd have to do three rows of 100 uh, soil so that would be 200. Oh, but really? No, that's what I'm not thinking of, is you don't have to place water, like, solid, basically. That probably makes very little sense, but you can just place one block of water here and there, and it flows to either side, and the flowing water uh, is just as effective as a, a source block. So, you know, if you don't 
uh, mind the way it looks, you can you know use flowing water to dramatically reduce how much you actually have to use. And uh, something I did on my main account that I actually quite like is just place the water uh, where the lighting is and it kind of keeps it organized, uniform look, and then you don't have to place quite so much water. Another nice thing about uh, only placing a little bit of water here and there is that it, when you decide to pull this stuff up, if you you know need to redo it, uh, you have less water to kind of deal with. So if you just like fill this up solid and you break the blocks, well the water is left behind and you either have to use a fluid breaker to pick it back up or fill it in with blocks and yeah. So perfect. So we got that green 110%. Those are perfectly happy. I guess, I mean, we could go outside. There's like nine bulbs out there we could dig up and uh, place down here, but eh, I can do that later, I suppose. So let's, hmm, that's gonna take a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> Not to mention, I might have to do like, what, two, rows of 50 because I don't think this is going to be 100 blocks wide even if we go from wall to wall um, but uh, might make 50 I don't know so let's see here yeah, we can look at this was it it's clay isn't it? yeah we need tilled clay soil there's our clay And here, let's put it over there so we can have a flashlight out. And what makes it happy again? If we need anything. Uh, increases yield in till clay soil, uh, water, uh, and then we have the ash and tangle which are going to counter each other. So really we just need um, tilled clay soil and we can actually use this as our water source so we can just we don't need a, a a dedicated channel basically if that makes any sense okay so trying to find where the 50 there we go so that's 50 blocks right there so And I could make this four blocks wide, uh, but I generally go with three blocks just so it's a little bit more compatible with like AOE harvesters, which, you know, we, I don't know, we could buy them, I suppose, but uh, eventually we can just forge them, so. But let's see here. So this will be another water channel right here. Not 100% sure what block I want to use for that. I uh, could literally just use some more clay, or you could get, um, fancy's not really the right word, but we could try to make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye, I suppose. Okay, so theoretically we just placed 300, yeah, perfect. So 300 pieces of clay to match our, well we have 311, but uh, close enough. So I'll get all of this tilled and then uh, I guess chisel a water channel and call it good.
Okay, so, um, yeah, so I got this channel, uh, already chiseled here, just, you know, decided to go ahead and do the clay. As you can see, I placed some of the lights, and uh, I started to just place another channel here in clay, but I'm um, trying to think... Actually, I don't think these really need anything... Oh, this is increased near mud. So what we can do is make the other channel out of mud, and that way we can just go straight into the next crop, and they can share that water channel. Uh, since, you know, the Earthiums don't need a special helper block, uh, whereas uh, this wheat does. And oats... Yeah, the oats really don't care, so... Um, that will be pretty much perfect. So let's drag down some mud here and set up this water channel. Okay, so we got the water channel set up. Uh, this needs silty soil, so we can go ahead and at least place a little bit of silty soil just so the water doesn't flood. Uh, I wasn't really thinking about the shop stands over there uh, kind of complicating things. I didn't realize I was going to get that close to them that quickly. Ooh, it looks like we're even going to run into the ramp, which I guess, uh, yeah, so <laughs> we're going to have some, uh, gonna have to rearrange a little bit. But, uh, then again, I mean, this isn't meant to be, like, super permanent or anything, so, uh, probably eventually end up moving all of this to our new location once we start getting that set up. Um, I guess the other part is that we really don't need, uh, as much to actually set up. Because, yeah, we only have <laughs> 51 instead of, you know, 300. So, but uh, still, let's get uh, the mud channel. Because, yeah, these shop stands are full of nothing but uh, stone. So, <laughs> it's a bit of a process to move it. And there, it's like even the colors are sorted out. Uh, which kind of amused me when I did it, because then I finally realized, it's like, I set up a bar graph. So, whatever... Oh, did I use up... Ooh, wonder what I used all that stone for. Oh, I think I stuck it in the refineries just for experience. Okay. So, maybe there's not quite as much stone to move as I was originally thinking. So, that's actually pretty cool. So yeah, it's one of my uh, not so favorite activities is just shoveling, sh you know, stone around. Uh, it's like I don't mind turning it into stone, but then you know you end up with quite a bit more uh, stone than you put in rock, and, and it's kind of like, what do you do with it? And so yeah, oops, that works too. Okay, so I guess we can, well, we could actually start crafting or we could finish setting up the lights. So it's kind of nice once you get a, some of it set up, you can just kind of come along and just, you're basically just lining it up. So, so let's see here. So one, two, six. And yeah, it looks like we need to extend this channel. Do we have... Okay, yeah, we do have some more uh, dark glass. Oops. <laughs> Let's kind of flop that stuff all over the place, I guess. Okay. Place another one. 
So, I think we're good. Other than over here. Okay, so that definitely gets the job done, so I guess we can plant the earth yams. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, okay, that's that's what it is. I was like, why are we having like a variation? That's because there's water on this side, but not on this side. So once we add the water, it should be good. Right there it is. And there we go, perfect. We got 100% seed yield uh, with a 188% crop yield, so very nice. Okay, so perfect. This entire line is uh, exactly the way we want it. So I guess we can go ahead and place the water on this side as well. And that's not chiseled yet. Oh, it's chiseled right here though, so we can go ahead while we have the water out. Okay, perfect. So we got our 300 waxy earthiams planted. Guess now we can work on the wheat. So, hmm. Yeah, I need to move these shop stands. Well, maybe not so much. Let's um get this tilled over here. Because uh, we only have, what, 50 some odd? Whatever it is, I guess we're doing the wheat. Sounds about right. Okay, so pretty certain that's greater than 50. <laughs> ah, nice. Look at that. 180 crop yield, the maximum, while still having 100% chance to get uh, the seeds back, so very nice. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even use uh, all of that that I tilled, so. Uh, could do the oats next. That really just needs, um, tilled peaty soil. Okay. And that was clay. So yeah, where's my peaty soil? And as far as the other water channel, I mean, this doesn't need a special block, so I guess we can just go ahead and do the soil it's planted in. Uh, 
because I don't know, we might end up putting another row of oats or uh, we could end up putting something different. And yeah, let's do it the other way. Just so we're not forced to place another block just to keep the <laughs> basement from flooding uh, excessively. Oops. Okay. And there we go. So go ahead, place down some gleam. And yeah, we didn't even get that far. So <laughs> I keep hitting, uh, keep switching to that position right there where my teaching pies are because that's where I usually keep my uh, hand tiller on my other accounts. I guess really, now that we have some light down here, we don't have to constantly keep out a light source, but, uh, so we can, you know, other words, use, uh, both hands for both blocks and tools, but, I don't know, it, this is working. Go ahead. Oh, oh! For a second there, it did not look like it was chiseled. Got that? Let's see. Here we can. There, pull the seeds down. May not have enough space. I don't know. Didn't exactly count this out. So. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I guess we'll have a decent amount of uh, achievements and objectives, feats, whatever you want to call them. You uh, get a little extra coin experience. It's not going to be like amazing, but hey, it adds up. So yeah, we're probably going to run out of space here. Yeah. That's at least a start. I mean, we could either add another row here, or... <laughs> Let's see here. At least these are all empty. We don't need just a whole lot more space, but we're gonna have to move some rock eventually. Especially when we try to extend this water channel, so... I don't know. We, we're only missing 18 seeds. We can just kind of leave it as is. Uh, Another thing, there is a setup that we could do where basically you use a slope chisel in, for the water channel and then you can have your water, uh, tilled soil, and even plant crops on it all at the same time. Uh, you just have to kind of space things closer together, which uh, I, I kind of just like the dedicated water channels. Uh, that's kind of was my ultimate conclusion. But uh, it is technically an option, a little bit more space efficient. Um, just uh, I didn't quite like the way it looked and uh, might be usability issues if you're trying to like run down with a, an AOE harvesting tool. Uh, there's a possibility it might not play nicely with the, the chiseled surfaces, so I don't know. I haven't quite tested that bit out, but it, I was leery enough that I didn't even really want to go there. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so we got basically a rudimentary farm for, you know, we might eventually be able to make, like, uh, the persisting pies with these exotic earth yams. Uh, we got the waxy earth yams for decorative blocks and uh, maybe uh, basically... Uh, something to mint for coin, not to mention the experience for crafting it in the wax. And uh, 
Here, the wheat is for making flour, for making the pies, and the oats are for making milk. Uh, again, make the, the butter for the pies. So, very nice. Decent start. And yeah, if we want to expand, you know, or grow too many more things, we're going to have to, like, expand the basement or maybe make it multi-leveled, which, you know, that's uh, just another way to expand it, really. And uh, yeah, I probably don't want to put down that deep of roots into this location, since we're probably going to essentially retire it at some point. But uh... So, yeah, that's like, oh wow, we're only at 46 minutes? Okay, so with time lapses, or just cutting out, uh, this will be a pretty decent episode, not too terribly long. Uh, but I think I will go ahead and cut it off here because I'm not entirely sure what to do next. It seems like a pretty good stopping spot. Uh, we could mess with these caro nuts, but without amber, it's kind of hard to make them happy. So, uh, at least if you want them to be sustainable, which I'm not really sure it's even possible because I tried like nothing but compact iron to increase the seed yield and you're like you'll get it up to 90 some odd percent and then your crop yield goes to zero. So it's not even sustainable. You don't even get crop yield out of it. Uh, unless of course I was doing something wrong, which is entirely possible. Um, I was also kind of curious, like, what can we do with regular earth yams and rice to make a decent hunger restoring food? Um, because rice is a lot of fun to set up. It's kind of complicated because you have to play a fluid mechanics a decent amount. Uh, but then there's not a whole lot to really do with rice. It makes kind of like the mid tier foods, which uh, there's not a whole lot of demand for that stuff. But uh, Anyway, I guess that's enough rambling. Uh, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace. Okay, so I got to looking at my crops and I noticed that the ancient oats, uh, they're not quite consistent. See, it's only 200% here. And I was overlooking that, yeah, you can increase the crop near mud. So in other words, we need to make this other channel mud as well. So it's actually perfect that it's right next to the wheat uh, since they both gain benefit from this mud. Uh, just like, you know, usually for most crops, if it's not... Um, a counterproductive element like this compact peat and um, yeah it's like there's no negative for seed basically so like normally mud would make the seed yield go down but in the case of the oats it doesn't so that's pretty cool so I'll swap out uh, this channel for a one made out of mud so Pretty easy to fix, just uh, something I overlooked. But uh, until next time.